Okay, so I love robots and I love cute things, so this is Cute Robot. Here we go. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect that shit. And then we also have a different voice kind of changer here too, right? So you play the high notes and it's kind of like the baby robot. And then we have the voice and turn this up here and play some low notes. And we have kind of a dad angry robot, something like that. I don't know. That's how my brain works. So yeah, this patch is very weird, kind of out of uh, left field as the normal sound design stuff we do. But you know what? I thought this might be fun to include a cute robot. Who doesn't want a cute robot in their life? So with that being said, this patch kind of is weird. So we're, what we're going to be doing, let's turn off our effects here. We're using the utility engine, and this is kind of more so just adding some background noises, kind of making a little bit more, I don't know, setting the stage, I guess. So let's turn this off here. And really, the, the main workhorse for this is going to be in the harmonic engine here. So let's turn this pitch down in our macro, the voice down as well. Also the transport and okay. So basically we are starting off with a saw wave, right? With the, all the uh, partials or harmonics technically. So if we click here on split here, I think yours might be on periodic by default, but go ahead and select split here and kind of turn the odds. So it's basically going to be 65% left, 35% right. And then the even is going to be 41 left and 59 right. So you have... <laughs> Okay, so the way this patch works is on here on the shape, make sure to select both of these, the low pass and the high passes. So we're kind of just cutting off the low end and the top end and kind of just really working for the mid range section here. Now for these shapes here, for A, we're gonna be on bi pulse, and then for B, we're also gonna be on bi pulse here. So that's kind of creating the spectrum here. Now, this selection here is macro number three, which is the transport. So as we move this here, we can see that kind of moves to the left there. We're modulating that at negative 50, so negative 0 0.50. And it's kind of just like taking away and adding just a lot of harmonics that we can see here in the front here. So that's kind of the first thing I did in the beginning. It's kind of like the robot is materializing somewhere and you kind of just... Robot has arrived. And that you kind of just do that, right? So this pitch here, how I'm changing this here, is really, as you can see over here, the, the macro on the frequency mod, which I think yours might be on phase mod by default. So go ahead and select frequency mod for this one here. And on the ratio, it's kind of just at one, right? But we're just modulating this a little bit by 0.39 over here for the first macro right over there. So really, as it goes up in pitch... It's kind of just doing that, but you have to play it in a certain way, like hit fast notes and kind of just move this macro with your hand. You kind of get used to it. It's kind of weird. You know, you can kind of say things like there was a day where I just communicated with this patch. You know, some, someone says like, do you want something? And you, you want to say no, just <laughs> just do something like that. I don't know. Anyway, moving on here. So this amount here is going to be two, which is basically this voice here. And really, you don't really need that much of this here. This is really 0.08, so it's a tiny bit amount, but it kind of goes a long way. Kind of makes that robot sound angry or like the dad. So that's basically how this harmonic engine here works in a nutshell. And the depth is going to be 100%, so right in the middle. And you don't really have to worry about these. The only one I did kind of change here is this tilt. I think it's, I forget what it is by default. Let me see, double click, negative 0.2. So let's go ahead and undo that. So that value is going to be around, I guess, 0 0.080. So that's basically the harmonic engine there for this type of sound. Now let's hop into the utility engine here. So basically what's going on here is some white noise and then some empty radio. And that's just kind of adding that background kind of sound, right? Like, you know, something's transmitting, you kind of have some, some hiss there and then this empty radio. So here's the hiss. And then we have the other noise, which is the empty radio sample. And both of those together kind of create something nice like that. So if you want that in there, that's totally cool. And you can it kind of adds to the vibe, but if you just want the clean robot sound without that stuff in the background, then you can just disable the utility engine entirely. And it'll just be like that. 
So moving on from there, the filter is just going to be on a multi-mode high pass 24, and we're just putting the cutoff at 178, just so we really cut off some of the low end stuff, because it's really not that important. So moving on to the effects here, it's very simplistic, really. Um, this patch, there's really not too much to it. So the first thing that's going to hit is a pitch shifting delay. And this is kind of like when you hear a robot speak or that weird kind of effect where something kind of comes back to you and it kind of changes tuning. So that's kind of the idea behind this. Almost like it's kind of powering down or it's like finishing the statement that it's saying. And then I put a little bit of super unison, but before we get into that, we should read these values off, right? So the dry wet's gonna be zero by default because it's on macro number four and it's modulated to 0.10, so 10%. A very little bit goes a long way. This one is gonna be on time as opposed to anything locked into tempo because we kind of want that quick. Like as soon as it's done, we kind of really want to have that that uh, delay start happening here. So the time is going to be at 112 milliseconds. Spray 16.6. .6, pitch shifting down five semitones, which kind of as you hear it detuning as it finishes. And then the feedback 0.554. High pass is going to be 116 hertz. Low pass 2,484 hertz. Stereo detune, stereo detune seven cents. And then the stereo offset 8.16 milliseconds. So next super unison. So this is a very, very subtle effect. You could almost do without it. So it's modulated by 0 0.09 right up here, so 9%. And then uh, voices, we have five, detune, 40%, rate 0 0.350, stereo with one, high pass frequency 250, low pass 20K. And then we have a reverb for our final sound here. Now this reverb is a little bit different, right? Because the idea of this is it's not supposed to be like reverb, you know, we're in a huge, huge hall, hall, hall. You know, it's not like that. It's just really to make it not sound such of like a direct signal, kind of just putting it in a certain room so it doesn't sound weird or artificial, even though it's a robot. Anyway, the dry wet's going to be zero, but modulated by macro number four at 0.27 or 27%. Pre-delay, 20 milliseconds, size 0 0.590, small, but it works. <laughs> to decay 0.234 stereo width 0.5 high pass frequency 200 low pass 5007 hertz and damping 0.6 so yeah that's basically how this patch is made and keep in mind if you want to use a utility engine you totally can for that extra little grit but yeah, if you'd like to get this robot, this cute robot for free, there's a link in the video description below. And please, if you do get this patch, please annoy the next person around you with this for a while. And let me know how that goes, because it's actually really, really funny. Stop saying the robot thing. Yeah, it's, it, it becomes funny, and then it becomes very irritating. So let me know how the irritating part goes for somebody else. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.